Uh oh. Uh oh. Adobe just launched in Premiere Pro a brand new tool that allows you to rotoscope automatically, which is crazy to me. And that's what we're going to test out together. It's called the Object Mask Tool, and I can't wait to try it out with you guys. We're going to try it together, see if it actually does a good job. But I think it definitely has a lot of potential, a lot of potential to save editors a bunch of time. By the way, real quick before we start, my name is Gus. I run the Friendly File Store in which I sell editing packs presets, templates, and many more assets that are meant to make your job as a video editor super easy. So if you want to check these out, I'll have them linked down in the description. Now with that said, let's get right into this. So in order to use it, you got to use the brand new Premiere Pro beta version. It's version 25.6. So once that's downloaded, then we're going to go into Premiere Pro. Let's go. So we now have right here our clip that we're going to rotoscope. I chose this clip because I'm very curious to see if Adobe Premiere Pro can deal with the fact that there's changing in light. As you can see, I want to see how it handles kind of like imperfections, uh, just like cases where it's not perfect, just to challenge it a bit. So basically how it works, all you got to do is go to the object mask tool that should be right here. So we're going to click on it. And I think it's as easy as, as you can see, it already highlights it. So we're just going to click on this. Like this is so huge for the editing game. I'm not going to lie. This changes everything. Usually you got to go in After Effects to do a bunch of rotoscoping, do fancy stuff. This is going to allow editors to do so much more just within Premiere Pro. So, all right, if I click on it. So now that this is clicked, what we're going to do is just click on track selected mask forward and we're going to let it do its thing. Wow, it's doing a pretty good job so far. Here's the part that I'm worried about, though. Let's see. That's insane. That's insane. There's no way. Holy. Not as huge. This is doing damn near a perfect job, like, and this is a 10 second clip as well. So that's why I'm like so stoked about this. This is insane. So now we have our clip rotoscope. Now in order to have the actual mask once it is done, what we got to do is put the object mask to uh, opacity right here. And now as you can see, we have our mask. It is not perfect. It's not perfect. As you can see, there are some slight uh, details, but it is still pretty impressive. So as we can see, it's not perfect yet, but it is still pretty impressive considering that I chose purposely a clip where there's uh, different like sources of lights coming in that could disrupt it. Let's see what else we could do with it now. So now the masking is done. Let's say we want to put like a text under it. All we got to do is drag, do like alt click. There we go. And the one under, we're just going to go to opacity and remove the object mask. That way, let's put that one like above a little. There we go. And now if we put, let's say like a text, let's say like auto roto, let's say on topic, I'm gonna choose a cool font. Let's choose enter black. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know we could add a background to it. I'm getting distracted. Let's just, yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have this and all we gotta do is drag it under. And now, as you can see, this is working. I mean, it's not doing a perfect job yet, but this is so impressive. And I suppose that, and I suppose that since this is a beta version, Adobe is just going to keep improving it. So I'm definitely excited because this definitely has a lot of potential. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this new feature. I think this is honestly insane. If you want more videos like this as well, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.